The link between cancer among firefighters has become a growing concern. Studies show their jobs expose them to a higher risk for certain types of cancer. But now one Tri-State Fire Department is taking an extra step to help lower that risk. And on your sides, Brianna Harper explains. Firefighting is a tough job, but someone has to do it. Studies show battling flames, smoke, and soot on the day-to-day -day basis can eventually wreak havoc on a firefighter's health. An experienced coal rain fire chief Frank Cook has seen firsthand. Over the course of my 32 years, uh, I've seen a number of personal friends and you know other colleagues that have uh, been stricken with this uh, this disease. This disease known as cancer. Researchers say for firefighters, their greatest risk is for cancers related to digestive, oral, respiratory, and urinary systems. The majority of these cancers can be caused by the chemical mix that they're exposed to in the air at the fire scene, and then when they go back and put the fire out and then clean it up. But for the Colerain Township Fire Department, the real cleanup begins with this on-scene decontamination kit. We soap ourselves down, we wash ourselves down, rinse ourselves off in order to get the uh, gross decontamination off. There's items like this hood and these gloves that generally pose the greatest risk to exposure because they come in direct contact with the skin. That's why the goal is always to have them removed almost immediately after firefighting. And then comes the heavy duty cleaning of all the firefighting gear through the specialized machine. You know, we live here 24 hours a day, we eat here, we sleep here. I mean, this is our secondary home. So, you know, you just want to try to do everything that you can to minimize it, uh, that exposure. Other local fire departments, including Cincinnati and Goshen, are also considering a similar decontamination process. In Colerain Township, Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.